Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the Bold Smart Cylinder. Now, Bold Smart Cylinder has been on the market for a little while now. However, they just launched their Bold app for Homey, which is a great addition. It creates a direct Bluetooth integration with their Bold Smart Cylinder. So, well, they also have a Bold Connect bridge, which is, well, basically a Bluetooth hub that connects it to the Wi-Fi and gives you remote access. If you're a Homey user, well, you don't need this anymore. So you can save yourself about 100 euros on one of those Bold Connects because you already have the hardware and that Bluetooth antenna built into your Homey Pro or Homey Bridge. Now, the Bold Smart Cylinder is a little bit different than other smart locks on the market because it actually replaces your cylinder in your door. Now, I've got one already pre-installed, so I'm just gonna grab it oh, out here onto my door. And you'll see that, well, the Bold lock actually replaces my cylinder. Now that's a little bit different than other smart locks. So other smart locks often, they'll be designed to basically be a motorized unit that turns a key that's in your door and you sort of place it on top of the key. Uh, things like the Yale Linus or the new key lock or Dana lock, they have locks that work that way and they're motorized and they can lock and unlock your door. Now there's some advantages and disadvantages to selecting a bold smart cylinder. So let me start by showing you how it works. So currently your inside my home. This would be the inside of the home. This is also where the batteries are housed and uh, that type of thing. Now, what you can do from the inside of the home is simply rotate this lock, rotate it the other way, and you can unlock and open the door and you can lock it again. Now, this side is actually connected to the lock at all times. And that's great for, for instance, if there's a fire or an emergency and you need to get out of the house quickly, well, you don't need to fiddle around and open an app and then unlock your door. You can just twist the knob and bam, your, your, your door will unlock for you and then you can open it up. So it's super simple. If you find yourself outside my door, you won't be able to actually interact with the lock at all right now because, well, the Bold Smart Cylinder is off. Let me jump over to the Bold app and then activate the lock. Now you'll hear a a kind of a beep beep sound to let you know that it's active. And now I can actually from the outside of my house interact with the lock. And you have to do this manually. So you literally twist it. And after a certain amount of time, so you might've heard the little beep, but after about, I think it's set to 20 seconds, but you can basically set the time yourself in the Bold app, it will deactivate the lock. So now I don't have access to it anymore. And that's kind of the way it's set up. So that's the design of the lock. And it's quite a different take on, well, the traditional smart locks. So this way you manually interact and unlock and open your door. Now that has a couple of advantages. One, it's battery life. Bold claims a battery life of over two years. And I find that pretty believable because all the lock really does is activate and deactivate the locking mechanism. There's no motors and gears that actually need to turn a key and well, for other locks that can affect the battery life. So for instance, some other locks have like three to six months and then you gotta replace the batteries. And you always run into this fear of, well, the lock running out of battery just as you need to get in your home and then you're locked out. Um, it's one of the things you gotta think about. So really long battery life. Now, the second advantage is that the lock actually replaces your cylinder. So you kind of get a security upgrade depending on your hardware of your lock. If it's a little bit outdated, you can basically set this up. And I believe that all the locks from Bold, depending on what size you're choosing, has an SKG rating of three stars. And that's, well, quite high. I checked the one at my house and that only had an SKG of two stars. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's time for an upgrade. And another advantage is that it's silent in use. So if you've watched other videos on other smart locks or perhaps you have one at home, you'll know that they make some noise. As the motor's turning, as the gears are turning, you can hear the lock actually locking or unlocking. And with Bold, really the only sound you get is the actual locking mechanism. So it's a lot quieter than your traditional smart locks. Now you do get some disadvantages. So the first would be that you can't auto lock or unlock your home at certain times. So a great thing about a smart lock is that, for instance, if you have it connected up to Homey, you can create a flow and basically on a schedule, let's say midnight to 6 a.m., make sure that your door is always locked because the lock itself will lock the door and then you'll know, okay, between those times, it's always actually locked. Now with Bold, you can't do that because it doesn't actually activate or act, well, actuate the locking mechanism, right? So you have to manually lock and unlock your door. 
It's not a big deal if you weigh the advantages. So that longer battery life, the silent in use, those kind of things. Depends really on your use cases and what you're looking for. The second drawback is that you no longer have access using your traditional keys. So because you replace the cylinder, your keys will no longer work with your door and you'll have to use the bolt lock. Now, a lot of people fear that if the battery runs out and you don't have your keys on you or your phone, you know, how are you gonna get back inside your home? And that's often the reason they'll choose a smart lock over a smart cylinder is because, well, you can always use your traditional key, unlock the door and hide the key somewhere in your front yard or something like that. Okay, it comes with its own security risks, but it is possible. Now, Bold have thought about this and they actually have a cool pin code that's built into the lock. And I, I really like this feature. So I think it's a really brilliant kind of idea for a smart cylinder concept. And what it does is it works a little bit like if you have like those old lockers, uh, I went to like an international and American school in our locker, we had a radial lock that you would spin one way a couple times, spin another to a certain number, spin another to a certain number, and then you'd be able to unlock that lock. Now, Bold has come up with a very similar concept and you can set up your own pin code to access your door. Let me show you how this works. So I'm in the Bold app and I want to go to the settings of my Bold lock. What you can do here is create a backup pin. Now I've set up a pin code that's really simple. It's 21212. And what you do is you spin the lock in any direction twice one way, so that's my two, then once back, that's my one, then twice in the same direction. And whatever numbers you choose here, you do that kind of system. So I'll go one, two, and then back once, and then one, two, back once, and one, two. And what will happen is the lock will then trigger. So now I can actually access my home and I can lock and unlock and I have access. It's a great little backup system in case you forget your phone and you don't have access to your home anymore, you can just use this. You can also share the pin code with family members and have them enter your home and they don't need keys, they can just remember this. Now, if you're looking for an installation guide of this lock, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna have the installation process kind of outlined at the end of this video, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. It's actually a really simple process. I think there's one screw you gotta take out and you replace your cylinder. It's really not as much work as I thought it would be. When I thought, okay, I gotta replace my, my door cylinder or my locking mechanism, it's gonna be a lot of work. It really isn't. So stay tuned to that and, and check out that installation and you'll see how easy it can be. Now I should mention at this point also that the Bold Lock is a Euro profile cylinder. So those of you watching in Scandinavia, this is likely not gonna fit your doors. However, Bold might be working on, you know, a offer or product for your market. So just if you're interested in this style of lock, make sure to follow them on their website, probably their newsletter, and they'll likely be announcing when they're launching that product. I should also mention that depending on the width or size of your door, there are different sizes of the Bolt smart cylinder. So go to their website, go through their compatibility section, figure out which lock will fit your door. This is the SX33, which I believe is their best seller and fits on most doors, but they do have larger cylinders for, or longer cylinders for different door types. And they also have extension units and stuff like that. So go through their process and you'll figure out the right lock for you. Now, without further ado, let's connect up the Bold Smart Cylinder to Homey and create some unique flows that will give you access to your home. Not only can you access your home, you can have the lights turn on, the blinds open up when you're coming home. You can have them close when you're locking the door and leaving. You can do all kinds of cool stuff using flows. I've got a really unique one coming up where I use facial recognition together with a video doorbell to open up my door without having my phone on me. Perfect for when you're going for a jog or something like that, or you wanna be off the grid when you go for a walk and leave your phone at home. You don't need it to come home. So let's jump over to the Homey app. I'm gonna head into devices and I'll hit the plus in the top right as always when you're adding a new device. Search for Bold, select their app, connect up the smart lock, and I'll be prompted to log in with my Bold account. So let's do that. Add in your password and sign in. At this point, you'll want to allow access between Homey and Bold. Then I can hit done in the top left and select, if you have more than one Bold lock attached to your Bold account, you can select the lock you wanna to add to Homey. And I'll hit continue. Now on my devices screen, you'll see the Bold lock appear. So really it took, what? 
20 seconds to get that added to Homey. Super simple. Now that I've got that connection set up, I can create flows between my Bolt Smart Cylinder and the other smart devices I have connected up to Homey. And it's really easy to do. I'm gonna head into flows and create a new flow. Now I'm gonna keep this one real simple. What I wanna say is when the Bolt Lock turns on, that my lights turn on and my blinds open up and that my thermostat turns on. So basically a really easy welcome home kind of flow that you're creating when you unlock the front door. So let's simply do that. So now I'm saying when my lock turns on and this event can be triggered from anywhere. And what you can do if you want to is add some and conditions that you can create and set up to fit your home. So things like, okay, is there someone home? Then perhaps you don't want some things to happen. What I'll do is keep it nice and simple. I'm gonna head into the then event. I'll go to my home. I'm gonna choose my film studio and I'm gonna turn on devices. I'll make sure that I choose lights and I'll also add in that my roller blinds open up. So that's really simple. I'm now triggering my lights and opening up the blinds. It's a really easy flow. Now remember, you can basically make these unique to your own home using all kinds of different flow cards in these event areas. Now see that I've got my blinds lowered. So let's test this out. Let's turn on the bolt lock. Blinds open up, lights turn on, and my lock activates. So I can interact with it and enter my home. Now this is a really nice kind of comfort flow. So as soon as you get home, everything opens up and turns on and you're welcomed home. You can do this in a couple different ways, but having it connected to your lock is sort of a really nice way because using geolocation, well, uh, that can be a little bit fiddly, not always accurate. This is perfect, right? I come home, I unlock my front door, things turn on and are activated. It's that perfect sequence of events that you might be looking for for your smart home. Now, another cool feature I wanna show off is that you can connect up the bold lock to a smart button and have that smart button set up anywhere in your home. So I've got a ooh, button here from Philips Hue and it's a simple one button, right? What I want is that this button is positioned, let's say in my office, which is on the second floor of my home. And so when the doorbell goes and it's someone I know and I wanna have them enter the home, I can simply press this button to unlock the front door. It's quite a nice way of doing things if you want that connection. So I'll create a flow for it. Really simply, when the button is pressed, then open up my lock. When the button has been pressed, then I'm gonna turn on my lock. Let's save the flow and test it out. So now with that flow saved and running on Homey, all I need to do is press the button that's located in my office and what will happen is the lock, I might have heard it, but it'll unlock. And now I can basically access my home by twisting the knob. So it's a really nice way of, well, creating a well place to unlock your door without needing to use your mobile device, without needing to go down to your front door and actually open it, but just give remote access. Now, this works really nicely with video doorbells because you'll see who's at the door and then you can also, well, open up the door by pressing a button. Although often you're already on your phone when the video doorbell goes off, so it's not that much hassle to jump over to the Homey app and select it. You can also build a flow that says, hey, when the doorbell is rang, send me a snapshot of that person and then you can access or activate your door. Now, taking that one step further, I wanna show you a really unique video doorbell thing you can do once you have your bold smart cylinder connected up to Homey and you have a video doorbell that sends a snapshot to Homey. I've got here a video doorbell from Durbert and this is gonna demonstrate what it'll look like. So let's say this is my front door and I'm, well, okay, I've come home from a jog, I'm all sweaty, I don't have my phone on me or anything like that and I can ring the doorbell. You'll see a notification on my phone, along with a snapshot of who's at the door. And you'll hear the lock unlock and another notification saying, unlock the door, Alex is detected. So now I can access my home. <laughs> it's a whole series of events, but there's some simple flows to set this up. Now let's dive into how I did this. We'll have a look at some flows. The first flow is really simple and I advise you to use this for any video doorbell. And simply it's when someone rings the door, then it sends a snapshot as a push notification to my smartphone. Now, some video doorbells already do that via their own app. And if they don't, then this is a handy way of doing it. So 
take a quick look at the flow card. Basically, you add in the tag for the snapshot as a local one that's generated with the when event. You'll send it to a user, and then you'll say someone is at the door. Now let's take a look at the face plus plus flows. The first flow basically triggers when a face is detected. And you'll get a series of tags that are generated when that happens. Now, in the Face++ app, you actually go in and you label a user depending on the photo you give. So for instance, I took a photo of my face, I sent it via the app, and then I labeled it as Alex. And now in the and condition, I have, okay, label is exactly Alex. So I have to be the person that's ringing the doorbell. And I'll send a notification to myself, letting me know that the door has been unlocked. Now, important because if this is someone else that's unlocked your door, you kind of want to receive that notification in case it's not you. Now, I have tested this with a couple colleagues. They never got access to my home, but this remains an open source project called Face++. So do your own research behind it. There are some security, some privacy things. I read somewhere that it was funded or co-funded, partly funded by the Chinese government. So security and privacy risks associated to it, but it does create a really quite unique scenario for when you don't have your phone on you or your phone's out of battery or so, you can still access your home using a video doorbell. And it uses facial recognition. It's quite a cool, I find a unique kind of flow, but obviously for every person, you have different you know, privacy aspects and depending on what you want, you'll make a decision whether you use this or not. And of course, in the then event, I have turn on the bold lock. So that gives me access to my home. Now I've got one more flow to make this happen. And it's actually the, well, the trigger when the doorbell is pressed, then I send a snapshot through Face++ app to basically search for a face it recognizes. And then it uses that face and that tag to then operate that other flow. And well, you might wanna go check out Advanced Flows. That's a feature that we recently launched for Homey Pro. And you can basically create these kind of detailed or advanced flows all on one canvas. It makes life a lot easier. I'll add a link up here to the introduction video for advanced flows. So you can go check that out if you're interested in creating some really advanced flows all in one place from your browser. I think it's a really nice addition um, and it well, handles these kind of advanced flows in a really nice way. I think it's a really unique way of creating a smart lock. So it's manually powered, which okay has its advantages and disadvantages like I discussed, but in my in my personal opinion, the battery life, so two years of battery life, not having to worry about that, along with the backup pin code where you can kind of create your own pin code and turn it left and right. I quite like those features. I think it makes it quite unique and quite an interesting smart lock to add to my home. I'd love to like explain to friends how it works, invite them over, tell them the pin code, see them struggle outside the window trying to get in, you know, all those kind of things. I think that'd be a really nice addition to the home. And then, okay, you get the added advantage that it works directly with Homey. So you have this Bluetooth integration with, well, Homey Pro or Homey Bridge, whatever you have at house, and you don't need to spend an extra 100 euros on the Bolt Connect Bridge. I think that's a really nice USP as well. So if you're considering a smart lock, make sure to take a look at the Bolt Smart Cylinder. Check out their website, see if it works for your door, and then, well, make your own decision whether you wanna add it or not. Last but not least, Bolt also has what they call clickers. And a clicker is simply a, well, a little button that you can hang on your, um, on your car keys or something like that. Although, okay, they say it's keyless, so hopefully you don't have to have keys with you, but then they have a clicker that fits onto your keys. So it's a little bit weird, but in any case, it is handy to have with you. You can press it and your bold smart cylinder will unlock. So now I can actually interact with my door. So that's a really nice little addition as well. Now, to finish this video, I'm gonna go over the installation process. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and take a look at how this installs on your door. Now I'm gonna show you how to install the Bold Smart Cylinder into your door. And I'm gonna use this demo door as an illustration. So you'll see that obviously this door and its cylinder lock via this key. Now we're gonna to need to replace this cylinder with the Bold Lock. Now, according to the instructions, step one is to download the Bold app. So go ahead and do this. I've already paired the lock up to my app, so that's all kind of connected. So I'm really just gonna do the, well, the, the manual installation and show you how this works and how easy it actually is. Now, the top section here actually comes with your Bold Smart Cylinder. So you'll see it's super simple. You have a couple extension pieces, a small screw, a big screw, and an Allen key, along with a little screwdriver head. You have the Bold Smart Cylinder itself, 
And then I've added this little screwdriver. That's all you're really gonna need. So you've gotta have a screwdriver in house to be able to do this. I think all of us should have a screwdriver in house. So this part, which is on the inside of your door actually opens up with these two little black tabs. And I can slide out the lock itself. Now, if you wanna basically lock this in there, that's what this little screw is for. So this screws in the top. That's a bit hard to show you, but it screws in the top and then screws into here. And then it's basically like a little safety thing so that you can't take this out that easily. But you can open up this little backing and then you'll see the battery that is inside it. You just click it back inside. And then uh, if you want to, you can secure it. Actually, let's do that. You can secure it with the screw. So the next step, I wanna remove basically this back part. So this will be the outside of the door. Let's take that off. So you just loosen that and it slides right off. Now let's flip over the instructions and see what the next steps are. So the next steps, we gotta remove our cylinder. Let's do that. It's basically one screw. Pull that out, move the key a little bit into kind of an orientation where the lock slides out. And with my other finger, I'm just pushing it through so that I can pull it out. So now we've removed, well, our old cylinder. It was really that easy. Let's put this to one side. So this is gonna be the inside of my door. I wanna slide this through. And you can find the right position basically by moving this. And when you're able to rotate it, that means it's in line with the locking mechanism. So that's really where you want it. So depending on the length of your lock, you'll want to use one of these extension pieces basically to make it flush with the door. Now in my case, fortunately, it all lines up really easily. So what I can do is, well, once it's aligned, so I can rotate the lock and the mechanism works, let's reinstall this long screw. And they give you a spare one in the kit just in case. We can reinstall. And now we're almost there. So the, the piece I took off at the beginning, we're gonna have to reinstall. But basically I can now activate my lock, at least from the inside of the house. Now I've got that attached. So my bold lock is installed. Now you can always test it via the Bold app or you can press the button on the inside of the door. It activates the locking mechanism and you're able to, well, manually actuate the lock from the inside. Let me show you that. There you go. So that was it. One screwdriver, your mobile phone if you need it for the instructions and well, the accessories that come with the Bold Smart Cylinder and you've got a new smart lock installed on your door within a matter of minutes. Good luck doing this at home. Um, I wouldn't come to me for installation instructions, but I'd head to the Bold website and contact their support if you're having any troubles with this. But really, it's quite a straightforward system. Now, remember that the Bold Smart Lock comes in different sizes, so make sure to check the compatibility. You might need to measure your door before you order one just to make sure that it's going to fit for your home. That was it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.